<laughs> why I roam. You know, if you want to see me, I'm always here with the park. It's so. no mystery. Like you see somebody else? Right here with the park, always with the uh, yeah. So every single Monday, I always host uh, underground hip hop open mic. Crocodile 1540 North Milwaukee. Free cover, free pizza. As I always say, go to Crocodile, free cover, free pizza with so much style. I want to see you. I want to meet you. I want to greet you with free pizza. You know? I made it up myself. Yes, that's true. So, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's a wonderful day out. I don't know. What should I talk about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Freestyle. Yeah. See, these MCs, they kind of stank to me. They don't have any rank, you see. I got to show love to my people from Kankakee. And see, I respect you. MCs know they can't ever do better. My train of thought is why they call it the Metro. So now I'm on the video cam. But really, though, fam? People, they always want to be getting that Sam. We're rolling past Nick's Beer Garden. But if I was selling weed, it'd be Nick's and that Beer Garden. But yeah, I'm up at Wicker Park. And right now, it's the afternoon when not in the dark. And once again, if I did have the blunt, maybe it'd be something I'm finna spark. But no, nah, that's not really the case at the time. But I'm just embracing the rhyme. Walking down the street, I'm not trying to stand on the crack because I don't want to break my mother's back. See, that's superstition. MC stepping up, but they are truly missing. But then I'm dissing. I got the lyrical intuition. Urban Outfitters is across the street, but I'm not going to buy anything. But I'm the type that when I'm on a budget, I still try many things. Yeah, that's the way that we feel. Oh, look at the little dog. I need to go and buy one. Some people used to call me one, but I'm not one. I'm just a super cool cat. MCs, they knew that. True that. Yeah, I'm cool like that, like diggable planets. My style is so lyrical, damn it. Oops, I guess I didn't use French and English at the same time, but it's distinguished that I have never lame rhymes on honor roll, but I don't honor foes. I think that I'm freestyling for a long time, but I still can be skinny and have plenty of strong rhymes. I'm looking at the garbage can, but I don't hang with the garbage, man. I got to just do what I feel off of the mind, feeling the energy with the MF doom. I hear the instrumental. Hey, yo, I'm kind of skinny. I don't have good potential. But, yo, I really don't know what to say, but I still do this every day. See the brothers and they sitting on the skateboards. I love real women. I really hate whores. Yeah, but then I bring it back with this lyrical track i'm chilling on the corner like this hit him up i'll be that lyricist listening to the beats by mf doom i walk around i sweep you off your feet like you tripped over a broom but i felt things like the wicked witch of the west i ain't melting i bring it back to the circumference mcs on the dumbest shit i'm trying to get to the finals like the three p i got the flow that they can't be beat they retreat and go back to their crib. MCs, they lack in the fibs, and I'm rapping, you dig? I make them see the light like I'm here. Life ain't all about bomb here. You have to go and pay your bills. Staying real, spray the skills. And I'm listening to the gang star. Leave you right where you stand. Hit them up, and you with be Send my am. Goddamn, I'm on the video cam, but I said that before. Hit a metaphor. The ladies, they like, oh, he's so cute. Y'all like, hey, it's a photo shoot, but I ain't taking no pictures at the time. I'm just coming up with this lyrical rhyme. I'm standing on the corner, but I'm not soliciting. The microphone that I rip again. I love women that are feminine. And then if I get some Benjamins, we gonna go to Ben against. And that's where I've been again. But when I'm cheap, intimate, cinnamon rolls. Then we go window shopping at Kohl's. They ain't stopping the flows. I get closer because you hear the train. And see if they can still with my play. But once again, I'm riding so well. Everybody, I know you heard the L. But yo, that's right. So what? I know you think it's on my second. The horn is beeping. 
I'm not horny, but I'm seeking Halle Berry. Give me your number right now. I only got your area code. Wow. Hey, I'm only missing the seven digits. I got the photo that's hella wicked. Take it specific. You never knew like hieroglyphics. We're taking it back. It's nice meeting y'all. Say my am, I will never fall. I don't have a ring, but I have to leave. With my raps, you will believe. I got tricks up my sleeve. Cause I'm a magician in Davis Copperfield They can't stop the real way I drop the skill That's for real I see the people walking past All that ass Oops, gluteus maximus Yo, I gotta relax a bit But yo, I can speak the facts and shit And that's the way that I have to do it My name is Sam, I am And yo, ain't nobody touching Sam When I float like Buckingham I'm in the fucking jam But yo, MCs that can't see me, y'all Let's hit up the graffiti wall And I'm still walking down the street Thought that I was dumb, but I can't be beat What, what? Hold me back, hold me back, hold me back. <laughs> yeah, so I guess um what should I tell y'all about myself or something? Alright. I'm gonna start this off just like this. I don't even know where this is going, but I think this is good footage, so huh, let me see. So uh, I go by Sam Simmons and um the rap name is Sam, I am the MC. So I started rapping in 87. It was in uh, kindergarten. And so one day, like everybody in class, they were all bored and everything. So they're like, uh, they're like, man, well, you know, let's have a little talent show contest or whatever. So I got up there and I did a rhyme about an antacid, actually, uh, Tums, you know, so. And I was like, bubble gum, bubble gum, yum, yum, yum. When my stomach hurts, I eat Tums. And people thought it was really phenomenal, you know. I went to my uh, crib. I told my mom, I was like, yo, I just wrote this rap about Tums, man. Everybody liked it, you know. She got me like a little notebook and I filled it up and I just, I just never ever stopped. I never, I never ever stopped. I mean, been rhyming since 87 strong. Then as far as like freestyling, I actually started freestyling on accident. You know, I started freestyling like late, late 92, early 93. And so uh, you know, I'll be recording stuff in my pop's basement. And so uh, I would be reading my verses, you know, while I'm recording. So I'm like, blah, 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 blah. So like, let's just say the line was, I go to the store and I'm going to do it some more, you know. I would record the song, but then when I played it back, I noticed I said something like, I go to the store and my score is four, some, something like that. But I noticed that the second line was different. But what I was noticing a pattern in my recording that every time that I was about to mess up on a line, instead of me starting over, I was just substituting a line with a freestyle line. And that was the genesis of me freestyling. Then, you know, when certain groups came out, like Souls of Mischief and, you know, just cats around Chicago, SAK crew, you know, uh, that's when I really started taking, like, freestyle really serious. And, um, you know, I went to Northern. I did a lot up there. I went to, let me rewind back a bit, I went to Kenwood. And I was known as DJ Sam I Am, did a lot of DJing, a lot of, a lot of everything. Super, super B-boy. Had a lot of good times there. And um, graduated from Kenwood, went to Northern. Did a lot of, uh, like, 40 open mics. And joined Phi Beta Sigma fraternity and graduated. And, you know, and then after just kind of, like, earning stripes, you know, I just really wanted to become the freestyle champion of Chicago. So when I came back, I was going to all the open mics at Blue Note subterranean and then there was always competitions every year annual freestyle battles called rhyme splitters and uh, you know if you uh, if an MC were to win rhyme splitters and they would basically consider the champion freestyle rap champion of Chicago so I, I got in the second one the third one I didn't win and I knew that that meant the most to me more than anything you know, 
So the fourth one, I finally won. And when I won Round Spitters in 2004, that's when I was considered the freestyle champion of Chicago. And so once I became the freestyle champion of Chicago, that made me feel like, well, I could do anything now. And, and so when I went on to compete at Scribble Jam, um, I didn't win that, but that was still a lot of fun. Um, but then, like, my national breakthroughs, I had the opportunity to battle in 106 in Park. When I passed the audition, I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to Disneyland. But I knew that nobody in the whole history of the show had ever been in the Hall of Fame retired. You know? And I wanted to be the first person to go up there to actually freestyle for real off the head and, um, and be in the Hall of Fame. So, you know, I was working at the time. But, as, but at the time, I, uh, I won five weeks in a row and um, became the first rapper in the Hall of Fame. And then MTV asked me to be in the World Rap Championships, you know. And so once I, you know, got in the, uh, in the World Rap Championships, I made it all the way to the finals. I was supposed to battle disaster for $1 million. <laughs> but I think that there was some, uh, some technical difficulties as far as that actually happened. And uh, it just it just ended up never uh, the finals ended up never coming to the surface. I've been in like grind time and everything. And then as far as the rap albums, you know, um, my first album, my first album that I came out with was uh, Refreshing, which was produced by D to the E, my executive producer DC, and uh, that came out in '03. I was a little young and even funnies at the time, you know what I'm saying? But then uh, my breakthrough album was The Taste that came out in 06, which was entirely produced by D to the E as well. And my single Up Rock, we had a music video for that. It was in the uh, video game Pump It Up, which is similar to Dance Revolution. And uh, it's also on the 106 Park Freestyle Friday mixtape. So, I mean, that album's done a lot. Actually, every song that's on The Taste on YouTube, so y'all can definitely uh, check that out. And, uh, and now the new album that I got coming out, Cool About a Lake, I think that uh, it's my, my best piece of art uh, that I've come out with, and uh, that's all produced with ETV once again, executive produced by DC. And right now, you know, I'm still not signed to a label, but I'm still doing everything that I can. I've done everything I can on the battle scene. I still try to do as much as I can for the up and coming MCs and the MCs that do have the buzz as far as throwing the party, the hip hop parties every week. And um, I've done my first battles in grind time, which is arguably the biggest battle circuit in the nation. So, you know, right now I'm just trying to get picked up from a label, waiting the way, you know, it's just all about representing hip hop. Uh, that's my it, pretty much an entire hip hop life story. But uh, I'm definitely an MC that represents SK crew and ill nature. And uh, Chicago, the real definition of freestyle is off the top. There's no other definition. So, 